Okay, so we got another platinum trophy list video for you today. And today we're going to be looking at fellow content creator and channel member Platinum Opus. As always, thank you everybody for the patience. But because uh, Platinum Opus has got 158 trophies and there's a little bit of something extra at the end, I'm going to jump straight into it. So we're going to start with Nine Monkeys of Sherilyn. Uh, a beat em up adventure style game based in medieval china if i believe not played it myself but 26 percent on that one so nice a way out probably one of the greatest co-op games that exists um nice P pretty much everybody's got it at this point i believe uh well i've got it so pretty much everybody's got it uh, adam's adventure origins um i believe that's the episodic adventure game um, not played it myself in truth only 14 trophies quite a high percentage with 72.71 uh, alex kid in miracle world dx like i know it's a classic you know it's a remaster remake whatever of uh, the old sega mega drive game might have even been out before the sega mega drive but i've got this physically and i i just couldn't get past the first level i tried it put it in couldn't get past the first level uh, Alien Destroyer, 20, uh, 12 minutes. Quit. Let's forget about that one. Uh, Among Us. Yeah, Among Us is Among Us. Everybody, everybody knows what Among Us is. Um, it's actually a platinum trophy that I want to get in the near future just because of I own the game uh, and I've, I've got so many trophies in it. I just need to get the last few. Uh, Ape Escape, classic. 32.12% uh, on that one. Then we got three Assassin's Creed's. We got Brotherhood, two, and Valhalla. Valhalla being the pick of the bunch with sixteen point one three percent, taking a hundred hours. Uh, only a three out of ten difficulty compared to Brotherhood, six out of ten. Uh, but look at that, fifty four percent platinum. So at least forty six percent DLC. Just disgusting. Uh, then we got Astro's Playroom, which reminds me, I should be getting a delivery today. I ordered an Astro uh, Bot Plush. I ordered it about a month ago, and it finally said that it should be arriving. So, come on. Um, next up, we got Batnam. Batnam? Who the fuck is Batnam? Batman Arkham Knight and Batman The Telltale Series. I mean, Arkham Knight, 6.51%. Fair effing play on that one. But once again, 49% DLC disgusting uh then we go on to battlefield one very nice very very nice uh then bear with me uh to be honest i don't i don't know what this game is and and, and i know that in a lot of the videos recently there's been a lot of games where i've just i've had to scroll past them because i just don't know what they are and you know, I apologise for not having unlimited knowledge on every single game that, that's come out on the PS4 and PS5, or PS3 and PS Vita, uh, when I'm looking through these lists. But I like it. I like not knowing everything. It gives you guys a chance to, to inform me in the comments and prove your vast uh, superior knowledge. Right, okay. Uh, carrying on. So we got Bug Snacks. Yeah, like... I enjoyed it. I was glad once it was over, though. Uh, Bunny Raiders. Hate the game. Uh, purely because it will always be like on 90% or whatever it is on my account. Uh, because I almost fell into the trap of just going for shovelware, shovelware, shovelware. Right at the very start of uh, my platinum hunting journey. Uh, but thankfully, I didn't get the platinum. So it's no, not on my list lovely stuff then we've got call of the sea it's short but it is a fantastic game 54.5 on that percent on that one so it is quite high carto i've i've seen this a few times i really should do some research on what this actually is in truth uh chaos of deponia uh nice and then we've got chicken police okay then oh okay so now we've got a real real uh spicy meatball so we've got city skylines 1.99 percent three out of ten difficulty on 150 hours estimate 
I mean, in truth, like city skylines, um, theme park, theme hospital, you know, games like that, like I enjoy them. But when it comes to like you know completing them or going for the platinum, now nah, I haven't got the knowledge up here. Like it, it, it's not it's not an attention thing with this. It's more a case of like I'm just I'm just dumb. Like you know, take me back to theme park world. I'll make the fries extra salty and then raise the prices of the drinks. Jobs are good and easy win every time. Loads of money, but with how complex they get these days, nah, I can't do it. Um. Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink, quite a high percentage on that one. Coffin Dodgers, the granny uh, kart racing game, quite a high percent on that one as well. Concrete Genie, a beautiful looking game, relatively easy one, only taking eight hours. But I just, nah, it, I've seen multiple gameplay of it and I just, I, I know I'd get bored. Uh, Control Next, one of the greatest games on PS5, well, PS4 and PS5 ever made. Maybe that's a stretch, but I, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, then we got Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, so fair F in play on those. 8.89%, uh, 7.99%, and 9.4%. Even with Warped being the highest of those three, I just know I wouldn't be able to manage it. Like, I, I genuinely tried to just complete Crash Bandicoot 1, and I got stuck on that ice level uh, where you're running across the rope bridge. Oh, it infuriated me beyond beyond words. I was ready to smash my face into the monitor. Um, Creepy Tail next. Uh, no idea, to be honest. Um, but it took, took you less than an hour, 84.16%, so... It doesn't look like it's worth knowing. Uh, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion, beautiful stuff. A game that I, I absolutely love. Um, and I need to go back to and get the Platinum. Uh, then we've got Cyberpunk 2077. Very, very nice. 16.27% on that one. Uh, Dave the Diver, a game that I have started to look at more recently. I actually... Like when when Dave the Diver first released, I saw that it was an underwater game. I didn't realise that there was the actual like um, the restaurant side of the game, like that kind of thing. I, I do like. Um, I don't know if you've ever played Moonlighter. Like you know, you go into the dungeon, you come back out, you sell the stuff. Like looks like a more complex and more you know budgeted version of that kind of. I guess. Um, no, not even going to mention that one. Three hours, 13 minutes. I know that this one's even less, but just because it's so trash, I'll mention it. DC League of Super Pets. Uh, oh, my God. Then we got Dead Boy Daylight. I mean, you've got the Platinum, which is 2.25%. Six out of ten difficulty, 150 hours. But you're missing six trophies, and I'm kind of, I kind of want to have a look at what they are. But we'll carry on. Deliver Us the Moon. Yeah, beautiful game. Just bored me by the end. I couldn't be bothered. Well, no, it didn't bore me by the end. I thought that once the story ended, the game bored me from that point. I couldn't be... I, like I've, I think I've still got it downloaded on my PlayStation 5. I just can't be bothered to actually go into it and finish it. Um, Then we got Detector... Detective... Ah, uh, five minutes. What the, uh, Detroit Become Human next. Nice, 12.73%. I'm actually surprised that that's so low. Like, I, I, I couldn't do it because I just got bored. But I'm surprised it's so low. Uh, Dodgeball Academia, nice. Quite a high percentage now. I, I remember when that was like 35%. It's now up to 4188 Then we got Donut County, 82.28%. Yeah, I mean, it's a simple, simple game. Doesn't make it, you know, don't get me wrong, I think it's worth um, playing or at least experiencing once. Very simple Platinum, though, um, but fair play it regardless. Endling, Extinction Forever, nice. Escape Academy, nice. Quite, quite a high percentage. Uh, then we got Fallout. Uh, Fallout. 
full guys, um, double stacked, PS4, PS5. Uh, one took you 11 months, two days. The other one took two weeks, two days. I'll take a random guess that some of the trophies auto pop. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, 7% on the PS4 and 2.83% on the PS5. Uh, Fallout 4, 10.74% on that one. Very nice. FIFA 23. As I've always said, I love football, but cannot stand FIFA games. Football Manager, hell yeah. FIFA, hell no. They just bore me. They really do. But 2.32% on that one. Then we got Final Fantasy VII, the original, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, Remake and Original VII, 23.17% and 23.74%. But Rebirth, 8 out of 10 difficulty, 200 hours, and it's got a 12.52%. That makes me sick to my stomach. Oh my god, like... One that's over one in every ten people that played it have gone on to get the platinum, and I love Final Fantasy VII like it's my, the greatest game ever made in my opinion. Yeah, I absolutely like fanboy over Final Fantasy VII, but I, I I never went for this platinum. Like I completed the game, I'd put a lot of time into the game, but all. All the mini games, nah. I, I was just like, oh, I can't be bothered. And it was very difficult. Um, trash that we don't need to mention. Game of Thrones, the Telltale game. Yeah. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, very nice. Uh, Goat Simulator and Goat Simulator 3. Where the hell is Goat Simulator 2? God knows. Or Goat knows. Uh, God of War. And God of War Ragnarok, it still fascinates me how uh, Ragnarok has got such a high percentage compared to the uh, the, uh, the the prequel. But 27% 20, on the prequel, 44.70 on the sequel. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, very nice, 14.41% on that. Grand Theft Auto 5, wow, 2%. 4 out of 10 difficulty, 200 hours. And Grand Theft Auto Voice City. Very nice. Uh, Gravity Duck. Ignore that. Grim Fandango. 20.52% on that. Heavy Rain. 12.07% on that. I'm actually surprised that that one's not higher. But as is always the case. PS3 titles just seem to have such lower percentages. It's unreal. Uh, Hello Neighbor 2. Yeah, the, the one hour trick. Uh... Hercule Pyrite, the first cases. Haven't got a Scooby Doo. Hitman Absolution, very nice. 25.45% on that. Hogwarts Legacy, I've already said my piece on that every single video that I see it. Um, Horizon Forbidden West, bored the living crap out of me after what was Horizon Zero Dawn, which was an absolute gem of a game. I, I, I genuinely loved Zero Dawn. I think I'm on like 5% of the trophies for Forbidden West. I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, House Flipper. Nice, not my style of game. How to Escape, I haven't got a clue. Uh, Intelligence Cube. I believe that's... Is that the old PS1 game? Uh, if so, nice, I guess. Uh, Infamous Second Son. Beautiful game. One of my first ever Platinums on... Uh, on PlayStation 4 in general. It Takes Two, a great co-op game, one that I will never have because my girlfriend just, like, she can't control anything. Like, the, put the control pad in her hand. It's like giving her an instruction manual for Klingon. Like, she hasn't got a Scooby-Doo. Um, and it took hours to do, like, the most simplest jump. Um... Ah, well. Jurassic World Evolution 2. Very nice on this one. 2.33%. I, I know that that's like a park builder and you have to like take care of the, the uh, dinosaurs, but still very nice. Uh, Cow the Kangaroo, I think that's pronounced. Nice. 
L.A. Noir. Nice. Okay. I don't see this very often. It's actually something that I looked into not too long back for potentially doing this platinum myself. Uh, kind of put it on the maybe list. Um, there's just too many games at the moment that I want to play. Uh, but 15.57% on that one. Uh, Lake, yeah, nice, nice uh, little story game. Lego DC Super Villains, Lego Harry Potter 1 to 4 and 5 to 7, Lego Jurassic World, Lego Movie, and Lego The Pirates of the Caribbean. From, from the looks of that, that's pretty much all of the shorter ones, I believe. But nonetheless, nice, 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 nice. Uh, Life is Strange, Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Beautiful. I have I've genuinely been looking into uh, doing Life is Strange myself, um, but like I keep I saw I saw um, the original like Life is Strange uh, physical edition the other day, and I, I think if I remember right, it was like twenty five pound, and I was like I don't want to pay that for it because I don't I don't think I'm going to enjoy it to be honest. Like I've looked I've looked into the gameplay, I've seen what the game's about. I personally don't think I'm going to enjoy it, but I also didn't think I was going to enjoy most of the games that I've played, and they proved me wrong. So, yeah, um, don't know what that trash is. Uh, seven, 31 minutes. Uh, Marquette, nice puzzle game. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Marsupilami, who bad adventure. I actually own this physically. I picked it up when a uh, game was starting to just sell off all of their pre-owned games for like 50% off. Um, and I think I picked it up for about £4. Uh, it's just sat on the shelves. Um, never to be touched. Never say never, but very unlikely. Then we got Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice platinum trophies there. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, very nice, 15.51% on that one. And then we got Moving Out, 9.47% on that one, very nice. Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, again, another one of my very early uh, Platinum Trophies that I earned on PlayStation 4. Then we've got My Enemy, Pepper the Snake. Despicable, 44 minutes, mate. And then we got disgusting. My name is Mayo. My name is Mayo Two, and my name is Mayo Three. Yeah, stop the guides there because I am appalled. I'm only joking. It, like you, you do you. Anyone that wants to get any of these trophies, you do you. Except for my enemy, Pepper Pig. Sick of seeing that game everywhere. What's a, what the hell is wrong with you all? Um, then we got uh, Noah, play with your food, absolutely not a Scooby, 8.82% um, on that one, only took f just under 6 hours, not a clue, um, Operation Tango, nice, nearly just under 25% on that, Overcooked, all you can eat, 11.73% on that one, uh, Paw Patrol, 50.94% on that one. Peggle 2, 12.80% and the DLC, so 8.68% on that. Uh, Pinball Heroes, nice. Power Wash Simulator, 12.91%. I actually had a conversation with one of my mates about this game uh, literally a couple of days ago, and I said, anybody that can sit through Power Wash Simulator to earn the Platinum is somebody that you need to keep your eye on. Because I'm sorry, but I would absolutely go insane playing that, playing that. Like I, I remember, I remember one of my friends playing it, and I was around his house and I was chilling with him, and I was just, I was just watching, and I was like, I'm incredibly bored. And he, he was having a whale of a time. But okay, uh, Raji or Raji, an epic, uh, ancient epic, nice. Uh, Rhyme, nice. Road 96, nice. Here's one you don't see too often. Road Rage. Now, 
um, I don't know if, depending on where you live in the world, you had Road Rage, Road Rash, the old uh, motorbike uh, racing game for the Sega Mega Drive. Again, I don't know if that was the first console it ever came out on, but I absolutely loved that game as a kid. Uh, I, I brought this and I was um, appalled. It was absolutely shockingly crap. Uh, Sackboy, Big Adventure, very nice, 10.45%. Saints Row the Third, 10.58% on that one. Very nice. Saw, the OG PS3 game. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how high that percentage is. Not because it's difficult, just because PS3 titles tend to be hot, uh, tend to be low. But okay. Uh, Serial Killer, no idea. Uh, crime, uh, Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishment, and Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Uh, okay, safe part of the stick of truth, very nice, 18.896 on that one, uh, bit of trash, bit of trash, uh, the, all three Spyros, very nice, uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh, Stor Stormboy, not the game I'm thinking of, 27 minutes, so trash, um, Strange Horticulture, I think that's called, Six hours and 48 minutes, quite a high percentage on that. Uh, Stray, greatest cat game ever made, 26.63%. Uh, the OG, Tales from the Borderlands. I mean, yeah, just shy of 50%, so one in every two people that put it on gets the trophy. Uh, Telling Lies, nice. Tesla Grad, nice. Elder Scrolls. 5 Skyrim, nice, 13.98% on that one, 4.79% uh, DLC, which you haven't got, um, but still very nice nonetheless. Then we got The Escapists, 3 days, 15 hours it took, a 3.62% and the DLC, 1.32%, so very nice on that one. I think this is one of the games that I've got being delivered uh either today or tomorrow i don't i don't like for all i know it could be unobtainable now but i'm pretty sure this is one of the games I'm, i've got being delivered i ordered like i think it was something stupid like 20, 20 games for 40 pound like from a bundle online and it was like a lot of them were trash but there were a couple of decent games in there and i'm pretty sure the escapists was in there as well um, the Forgotten City, very nice. The Gardens Between, very short, but still a nice game. The Inner World, nice. I actually own this physically, which I've been told is very, very rare. Could be, could have been told shit, but never know. Uh, Mysteries of Ranko Taga, Tagawa, uh, 15 hours, but 95.79% have got it. The Sims 4, very nice, 5.81% on that. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Uh, is that the game where the, it's like, FBI open up? I think it's that. Uh, the Walking Dead, nice. You're missing just the two trophies from the DLC. Uh, then we got Toem. Beautiful little little uh, camera game running around with the, uh, the ghosts and shit. Uh, Tokyo Run. Uh, ignore me. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, nice. One eleven point one eight percent on that one. We got a Toy Story Mania from the PS3, twenty seven point five one percent on that. Um, not surprised at the next uh, couple of the next ones, but Tropico Five, again, similar to the uh, Sim Cities trophy. Like I just can't get into these games, but fair effing play on getting it yourself. Two percent on it very very nice 12 minutes uh is, is this the one where you play as the husband and the your wife's just been murdered and you got like 12 minutes to sort out the the crime i think it's that one uh twisted metal nice two point hospital very nice 4.54 percent on that undertale unpacking both beautiful games in their own rights until dawn nice Untitled Goose Game, Virginia, Watch Dogs, 8.28% on that one, so very nice. We Were Here, 
weak wood throne which i have no not a clue about what remains of edith finch uh, and then the last two platinums at least are wk wwe 2k22 and 2k23 now we thanks to one of the guys from my discord server i'll put his name uh, just above me um i now know how to do 100 percent so i'm all unprepared slightly 100 percent on platinum opus uh account we have outlast so bear f in play on this one 1.46 percent 911 operator not a clue but 2.85 percent on that one child of light 20.37 percent i love this game it was the first game on xbox that i ever 100 percented and I, I get itchy whenever i scroll past it on ps plus i keep thinking like should i just play it again um i, I really enjoyed it uh, then we got another world a vita classic uh, and then we got daylight uh, i believe it's a horror survival game if i'm correct uh, but that one's a very nice one eight years and six months it took but 3.06 percent very very nice we've then got inside apex legends and we finish off with game dev story so not too many hundred percents but there they are in all their glory back to the original screen and we'll scroll up for the milestones milestones as always so your first platinum was the walking dead 10th platinum was Ryan. 20th platinum was a way out 30th platinum was tesla grad 40th platinum was day of the tentacle uh doorbell okay so now i'm back after being rudely interrupted by the uh postman uh 50th platinum i believe i was on final fantasy 7 remake 75th was la noir 100th was escape academy 125 was peggle 2 and your 150th was serial cleaner with your latest platinum being the forgotten city so all in all some absolutely fantastic uh, platinum trophies if we look at the rarest you know tropico 5 city skylines grand theft auto 5 all sitting at that two percent which you know is just phenomenal um but yeah so that's the end of platinum opus uh platinum trophy list um if you want yours reviewed in the future then uh leave your psn name down below uh, and you know just just be patient as most of you are and i really am thankful for it just be just be patient i'm getting i'm gonna start getting through them uh, slightly quicker than i have been doing rather than one a week i'm gonna mix it up from time to time throw in two a week like this week so check out thursday's uh, trophy list uh, which should be i think it's renegade overlord if i am correct if i am not i will put the correct name on screen um, but yeah so thank you very much for watching um, and I'll see you on the next one, hopefully.